Viva Boys is the much talked about and most recent directorial venture by Canadian filmmaker Deepa Mehta, which highlights gang culture and violence happening in South Asian communities in Vancouver, Canada. All done with drama, action, and a lot of style. With all that action, glamour, and style, Viva Boys is sure to please. In September, the film had its world premiere at the 2015 Toronto International Film Festival, where all the Viva Boys, director Deepa Mehta, and the rest of the cast showed up in true Viva Boy style. Anoki Pulse TV was able to catch up with director Deepa Mehta and lead actor Randeep Huda during TIFF weekend to chat about the film's inspiration and its tale of the immigration experience. Let's check in and see what that conversation looked like. Deepa boys have blazed a trail across the city. A trail of drugs, a trail of blood. We know what our sons do, Jeet. We shoot with guns, and I don't like it. And I'm in true Biba Boy style here. I know, I love that. Look yes, that. no, no socks. socks. I got my pants rolled up, you know, inspired by the men in your film. And I had a chance to see the film in May. Uh -huh. And of course, in true Deepa style, you can always expect the unexpected. Tell me in your words, what is Biba Boys about? Biba Boys is about a group of really kick-ass guys <laughs> who are from Vancouver and they are gangsters. The film is inspired by true events, true characters, but it takes a life of its own. Thematically, all my films are about identity, who are we as a people, who are we as an immigrant group, and what do we do in order to be assimilated into the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And that's what the film is about. And somebody said that uh, crime is the uh, first step mm -hmm. towards actually assimilation. I mean, it sounds wow. absurd, but perhaps it is. I mean, you know, we did it in the Punjabi community, but it's been done in the Italian community yes. and, and the Irish community as waves of immigrants come. So the Biba boys are a kick-ass group who are actually not very nice people. <laughs> <laughs> very well dressed though. But you know, yes. the, you said two very important words, immigrant and assimilation. And for those of us, for those film goers who are going to see this as a gang film, as the Desi Mafia, what is the film saying truly about the immigrant experience, especially as South Asians as we migrate to different parts of the world? Canadians and Canada actually encourages us to hold on to our identity as opposed to America, where yeah. you be everybody becomes an American. And I think that our desire is to become Canadians, really. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to lose our culture, and we shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a gang member, whether it's reservoir dogs, or whether it's good fellows, everything is rooted in the culture. Mm -hmm. So to belong is something that we all want, but we can't get let, get, let go, and we shouldn't of where we come from. What are the challenges there as a filmmaker to stay, stay authentic to that immigration experience and still tell a compelling story with a gangster backdrop? Whether it's a, it's a film like Fire or it's Water even, mm -hmm. or it's Midnight's Children or it's uh, Heaven on Earth, uh, all the themes are all the similar. That we want to break boundaries, whether it's about gender or our preconceptions about gender, sexuality, domestic violence, we want to be able to talk about it. It's all, all my films are about thematically about identity and who we are. And of course, no gang is complete without a leader, and it's the leader himself, Bollywood actor Randeep Huda, who we speak to next. Making his North American film debut with Biba Boys, Randeep chats with APTV about his experience on the sets and how the film is breaking barriers about South Asian communities all around the world. You've been doing such an eclectic mix of films. You've always taken a risk in what you've done. What attracted you to the role of Jeet in the film Biba Boys? I've always felt very strongly about the fact that the Southeast Asian community in movies and entertainment is always uh, they're represented in a very computer nerd, geeky way or some, you know, taxi driver, the guy with the funny accent who fights with you for change. I felt that the hair was an opportunity that, you know, Indo-Indian guys or Indo-Canadians who are not really, you know, confirming to that stereotype image that everybody has of yeah. them. And here are people who are very mainstream and in fact more stylish than most Canadians would be, really kicking ass. And uh, when I read the script and we started doing the movie, I said, Deepa, you know, hey, this might just turn out to be that film. So I felt, you know, here, you know, there's an opportunity for brown people to feel a sense of pride. The film said a lot about the immigration experience, too. And you described connecting to a South Asian diaspora outside of right. you know, South Asian countries. So how do you feel that your portrayal and the film itself connects with those communities? Most countries uh, like America, Australia, Canada, who are basically made up of non-native people coming in and settling down. There's a very huge multicultural kind of rainbow nations that they are. And being here, whenever you come here first, 
it's like you know we have to struggle really hard to be seen to be noticed and to be recognized as a community so i think this movie just puts forth a more glamorous tougher and mm -hmm. more mainstream kind of thing and it's it will help with the integration of, of people and my last question to you is what do you want audiences take away from that immigration experience i'd like the mainstream to to realize that uh, how important it is for us not to be stereotyped yes. that's very important yes. so to get and that is something that they're having problems with, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> well, the film is breaking stereotypes, and I wish you the best of luck. Don't thank you so thank much, you so much. Thank, thank you. you. It's called a Kirpan. Kirpan means mercy, compassion. None of which, no way you are going to see today. <laughs>